everyone, it's Shannon from Sam Pendisley. Shannon, I just wanted to come in today to do another paper pumpkin unboxing. So this is the Kisses and Hug January 2022 paper pumpkin box. Um, I am so excited for this box. I just received it in the mail today. So let's get started. So we have our traditional red paper pumpkin box. And then on the inside you can see we have our uh, gray granite Stampin' Spot. So now Stampin' Up! is very good about the Stampin' Spots. They will actually only repeat them every 12 months. So the soonest that we can get another gray granite Stampin' Spot would be February of 2023. Um, so it's a great way to grow your Stampin' Spot collection. Um, and these are super awesome to use with the Stamparatus because they just have a little bit of a smaller area to, to press onto that. Um, so I love my Stampin' Spots and I love um, adding to my collection for these. And then we also have our gorgeous size stamps. So let's look at those. Um, so we have our traditional X and O, hugs and kisses, um, which matches the name of the box. And then we have our background stamp here. Um, and then we've got sending you love more, which works with love you more. We've got for you friend, which also could be love you friend, um, or sending you love friend. And then we have um, our heart and our arrow. We have just an arrow. And then we have this super cool stamp. So we've got the outline. And then we also have our inside of the heart. So these can be stamped by themselves. Or um, you could fill him in. Um, so you could maybe stamp him full strength. And then stamp this one. Stamp off. And then stamp the inside. And have it just be just a slightly lighter shade of uh, gray granite. Super, super fun and super cute. Super excited to use those. Um, and then a little bonus for this month's kit. Um, and it seems like in February, Paper Pumpkin Kits, they, um, Stampin' Up! always develops a little treat box um, or a little 3D kind of um, gift parcel. Um, and so last month they had these little tiny treat boxes and this year they're doing treat boxes as well. Um, so we have our um, X's and O's, Kisses and Hugs mini treat boxes. Um, and so these are actually gold foil, so they're going to be super beautiful, and they coordinate with that um, gold foil ribbon, and they have these cute little heart tag toppers here. And I believe that it's enough to make 20 of these little boxes, um, and it works with your stamp set and with um, the other products that are in this box. So they everything coordinates really nicely. Um, this is a beautiful little way to get all of your Valentine's Day gifts out of the way. Um, I think that they're two inches by two inches. So maybe it could hold like a mini cupcake. Um, it could hold some, you know, cute little candies and treats um, or like a tiny little Valentine's Day stuffed animal. Or I'm sure you can think of a million other things that you could put in these little boxes. Um, but they're super, super cute. So I think this is a $10 add-on. So if you got this kit, or if you are just a Paper Pumpkin subscriber that loves these little boxes, um, you can buy these little boxes in addition. Um, so they are, again, $10 for 20, so super cute. Works out to be about 50 cents a box, which is really great for packaging, I personally think. Um, so let's get to the, the meat of the Paper Pumpkin. Oh, I see pink already. Um, all right, and you can see that, um, my box wasn't handled with as much care this time as it usually is, but nothing inside was damaged, which is awesome. Or at least I don't think it was anyways. Um, so let's open this up. So we, I can already see these beautiful colors. Um, I see a bunch of hearts and some pretty iridescent sequins. I'm super excited to see this. Um, so Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. Um, I think that it's such a cute holiday. Um, and while, you know, there's, I think people get frustrated sometimes with the, the expectations of flowers and chocolates and all that stuff, um, I think the whole concept of just expressing your love to someone is just really awesome. Um, so I'm, I am a full-fledged Valentine fanatic, so I really enjoy um, the concept of this box. Um, oh, look how cute these are. Um, so they are, it looks like they're trifold cards here, and you get enough to make... 10 cards and you have 10 envelopes and they are trifolds. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, they look like little conversation hearts to me actually. Um, but we have our coordinating Stampin' Up! colors which are Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, Gold, Gray Granite, Very Vanilla, and White. So cute. Um, and you can also see that there are some um, 
other designs here that other people have made using the same supplies that are in this kit. Um, and some of these actually include coordinating products as well. Um, so the, I think it's the Sweet Talk, it's a conversation heart stamp set in the, in the mini catalog, the spring mini catalog. Um, that set goes really well with this. Um, so I'm pretty sure that that's what some of these little hearts are here from. Um, if you ever want to know your coordinating colors, they're down here um, on the back of your pamphlet. They are down in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, and it also tells you um, what is what can be made with the kit products. And it shows you everything that comes with the kit right up here. So that's very helpful too. And then if we open it up, you can see um, this is a full step-by-step -step instructions, even with a ruler in color, um, about how to make these cards and these projects. So of course you can make these cards just as is if you if you want to, if you think that this is where you want to go with it. Um, but of course this is total creative liberty here. So if you don't want to make these exact cards, you can absolutely um, you know cut these hearts up um, into three individual pieces and use basically make what is that, like thir more than 30 cards probably, um, three pieces for 10 cards, um, so at least 30 cards. Um, so you can make tons of different designs um, and different little um, projects with these. So we see here are 10 envelopes and they are Flirty Flamingo, I think. Um, yes, Flirty Flamingo. And then they've got this adorable, sweet um, gold foil um, XO design there on the top. And this is the same design that is on those boxes. So you can see how well that really coordinates. So if you wanted to give a gift and a card, um, you could obviously use this and it would be total perfect coordination. Um, the lining does go all the way down and into the envelope. So you could actually pull that envelope apart and use this as an actual piece of, um, you know, like designer series paper. So if you um, are not convinced that you want to use these just as envelopes, because I... Um, I don't know. I do think I throw out envelopes sometimes. I keep all my cards, but I do sometimes throw out the envelopes if they're not super pretty. Um, but these would definitely, I think, work for DSP, and I think I would be sad to use them as just an envelope. Um, but they are super pretty um, and very nice, smooth paper. We've got our dimensionals, which they always give us so many dimensionals, which is awesome. So there will be plenty enough for your kit here, and they are the minis. Um, so they're just itty bitty little dimensionals here. Um, we have our iridescent sequins. So these are hard to catch them, but they kind of are, they're like pearlized. So they look um, uh, iridescent, but they're also like, they're definitely shaded white. Um, so they're very beautiful. And then we have our card bases. Um, and we have, I think three, but maybe only two. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like only two, um, but they are that trifold. So you can see we have our gold stripes, we have our XOXO, which matches the envelopes and the boxes, and then we've got our super cute gold polka dots. So um, these are meant to kind of fold up, maybe like this, or like this, there we go, maybe. Um, but they are, um, and then you, you design, you know, the outsides and the insides of these too. Um, so the, let's see, yep, so you would design, you'd put a design on here, and you would also put a design on here, um, and then they fold up. So that is so cute. Sorry, I was looking at the instructions to see exactly how we make these. Um, but again, you could just cut these up and use them, um, I mean, you can make them into tags. You just put a whole bunch and put ribbon on them, um, or you could just cut them into three and then make three separate designs with them. Um, you could also just cut one of them off and then use this as the regular um, bifold card. So super cute, tons of opportunities, I think, with this kit. And these are like really neutral, very vanilla. So this would be something really easy to incorporate even into like anniversary cards um, versus just, you know, if you don't have 20 people to give Valentine's to, um, you could use these for wedding cards or you could use them for anniversary cards. Adorable. And then we have our pink one here. And the pink one is just designed just a little bit differently. So we have our plain flirty flamingo heart. We've got our XO print. And then we've got our sweet little horizontal gold foil lines. Super cute. So we get 10 of each of those. Um, and then all of our die cuts here. So we have our flirty flamingo and blushing bride heart. Actually, this, this might actually be blushing bride here. Not flirty. I think I might have said it was flirty flamingo. I think this is blushing bride. Um, and then we've got our gray granite arrow here. So cute. 
And let's see. Um, so you get one, two, three, four, five, five of these. So you a total of 10 pink, pinky hearts, um, five blushing bride, five Ferdy flamingo, and then you get this, um, five of these little adorable arrows here too. And then we have our, just our white, basic white hearts with a gold, um, foil lining there. And you get four. Oh my gosh, no, you get five. You get five of these. Um, so there are 20 of these little hearts here. And then we have our vellum hearts. And there are five of these. And these are super cute here. I love these. Um, and this would also, this set would also coordinate really well with, um, Stampin' Up! has a double heart punch pack, so it comes with a scalloped heart, um, and it also comes with just a regular straight-edged, um, heart, and these, I think, would coordinate really well with that, too. So let's actually, let me see if I can show you what that heart looks like a little better. And then we have our little glue dots here, too, some more adhesives, and if you don't have a take-your-pick tool, um, the easiest way to use these, they are a little tricky because they do have one of their sides is on an, um, like an acetate sheet, like an acrylic sheet. And then the other side has a little, um, a like little piece of paper, um, on the, uh, the sticky side. So if you pull this part off, um, you can see that there's this sticky glue dot underneath. Um, and the easiest way to use these I found is to use your take your pick tool. So if you do have one of those, definitely give that a try. Um, it also works obviously great for sequins and for like placing if you accidentally put a dimensional down and you need to move it and kind of stick your pokey end um, up there and kind of try to move it around. Uh, but they are exceptionally good for these glue dots in particular. Um, it's great for so many other things. That's one of my top used items, something that I'd recommend to everybody, um, but definitely um, a true friend for these uh, little blue dots here with um, both sides. And then we also get five of these little um, square tags here to help decorate our hearts. So that is so cute. And then last but not least, kind of the lamest portion, I guess, um, is this really nice clean piece of cardboard, which I always save to put in um, you know, fancy cards that have lots of sequins and embellishments on, kind of cut it down and kind of protect your envelope a little bit so the mail, mail sorter doesn't get it too bad. Um, and the other thing is you could use this for water coloring technique, um, or for, um, you know, uh, alcohol ink technique, etc. Um, so always save this. It's one of my, I feel like one of my top tips, um, save your cardboard in the package here, but you can see all of these wonderful things that you get with this kit this time. And now it is too late to just subscribe for this kit because it's already been shipped out. Um, but Stampin' Up! does often have um, refill kits. So in the event that you really want this kit, just um, you can either subscribe to Paper Pumpkin now and, and hope that it comes back in stock. Um, some demonstrators do sell them. Um, but there's also a chance that it just comes back in on Stampin' Up!'s website. Um, if they have extra kits, they will list them for sale. And um, you can just subscribe and then you can purchase that kit. But in order to purchase refills, you do have to be a subscriber. Um, so you can subscribe once you see the kits in stock and then jump on and get this. Um, you do also have to be a subscriber in order to get the little um, kisses and hugs mini treat boxes. Um, so if you want these or you want this, make sure to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Um, and it's $22 to subscribe. Um, and it is a, a lovely little kit that you get in your mailbox each month. Um, and it is absolutely filled with joy, um, and they have so many fun things. You do get an exclusive stamp set, a stamp spot, and all these fun little items to decorate. So if you have any questions about Paper Pumpkin or about Stampin' Up! in general, or um, if you would like to ha receive a free catalog if you live in the United States, um, feel free to contact me either through here um, or all of my links are down below as well. Um, so my website link might... Um, my blog links, etc. Um, so I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.